Let's start out with a single payment compound amount problem. First step, read the problem closely. In this problem, we're investing $500 in a savings account with an APR of 6%. Remember, that's 6% interest earned annually. And we're going to be compounding annually. And what we want to know is what the balance will be three years after that initial investment. So step number two is to write down what we know and what we don't know. In this problem, we are given a P of $500. That means an initial investment of $500. We have an I interest rate of 6% APR. And the total period of the investment is three years. Okay, and remember, I is the interest rate per year, and N is the number of interest periods. What we need to find in this problem is the future value of that account, F. Okay, step number three, let's draw a cash flow diagram for this problem. Remember, we start out with a straight line. Okay, and we are going to have time zero, we have time one, time two, and time three. Okay, remember that's three years. In time, at time zero, the initial period of the investment, we're going to have a downward arrow that represents our initial investment of $500. Remember that means that we have a point of view of the investor in this problem. And what we're concerned with is what is the future value of that account? How much is it worth three years later? We don't know. Okay, to find out the factor that we need to use in this problem, an easy way to do that is to simply write what we need to know, F slash what we do know, P, I, and N. That tells us that we need to find F given P, an interest rate, and a number of interest periods. Okay. Remember, the, also, the equation that goes along with F slash P is F is equal to P times 1 plus I one plus I to the N. Okay. And for this problem, we just simply say $500 times 1 plus 0 0.06 to the 3. And that gives us a total amount of $595.51. An alternate way to do the problem, and a way to check to see if we got the right answer, is to use the factor. And remember, to use the factor, we need to use the pro appropriate notation. And that is F is equal to P times the factor F slash P, 6% to the 3, which is the number of interest periods. And that in this problem is 500 times, now we need to look up the factor, go to our compound uh, interest factor tables, scroll through until we get to the 6% interest rate find the factor that we're concerned with in this problem we need to know right here the compound amount factor when we're give when we need to find f given p scroll down to the number uh, three because we have three interest periods and we're going to use 1.191 so let's go back plug in 1.191 and that gives us an answer of five hundred and ninety five dollars and 50 cents. You'll see it's pretty darn close to the first one. The one percent or the one cent difference there is due to the rounding in the interest tables. So both answers are correct.